welcome to the family table. I'm Pastor Tim. And I'm Patty. Welcome back. Glad we to have you. you back. We missed you too. So, uh, <laughs> we're going to continue with the movie Homeward Bound that we started with a few weeks ago. So, if you watched it a few weeks ago, you may have to watch it again. Uh, we will post a clip, uh, as we'll mention later, uh, on our Facebook page about the little scene that we're talking about today. But we're also going to use Homeward Bound to study the Beatitudes. And we, yeah, Beatitudes. And we can find the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 to 12. So, in our movie today, if you remember the characters, we had Chance and Shadow were the dogs, mm -hmm. and Sassy was the cat. Of course. And they were lost, right? They were trying to find their way home. Um, well, we're going to focus on the family of those mm -hmm. pets today. And the family think they've lost their pets forever, and they're sad. The kids, it, uh, are, the kids are just sad, but they're outside with their stepdad, and they're playing basketball, and through the bushes... All of their animals return. Oh. Woo -hoo. Woo. So, question: Have you ever found something that you thought that you had lost forever? Every day, my cell phone, my purse, uh, keys, oh, my pens. Pens. Yeah. Constantly losing pens. Those are good. <laughs> I can't think of anything like important that I've ever oh, lost. Oh, I do know one. I lost my engagement ring once. You did. And then we thought it was gone forever. He even bought me a new one. I did. So now I have two. <laughs> <laughs> it was it wasn't I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, no, she didn't. No. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So yeah, so how did you feel when you found your engagement ring? Oh, I was so excited because it was it was found in a really weird way. It was. I lost it in a car accident and later I found it in the lining of a coat. And it, and it was just so weird. It had been there for, it was a couple years. I just thought something was poking me in the back of the car, <laughs> and all of a sudden, there was my ring. It had been there for a couple of years. Yeah. The whole time. So weird. Didn't yeah. think I didn't donate that coat to Goodwill, huh? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, when the when their pets came back, the, the family experienced this tremendous blessing and joy uh, as their pets, you know, appeared out of the bush and returned to them. They sure did. In the same way, God offers us blessings um, as we are lost people, right? Mm. He still gives, offers us blessings when we're experiencing all kinds of emotions. And so now we're going to read uh, from the Beatitudes. Yes. Um, we're gonna, it's a little different translation. It's out of our book, Jesus Calling, the Bible Storybook, which, as always, when we read from it, is linked in the in the description. Um, so it's a little different than what you'll find in your Bible, so we encourage you to look up that Matthew 5 passage, too, um, as your family can read that together, because it's a little different. Um, both good, but um, check them both out. Yeah, no reason not to have it all, right? <laughs> Gotta have it all. All the knowledge about Jesus. All the knowledge. Okay, so this says, Jesus had amazing things to say, and wherever he and his helpers went, big crowds followed. One day, Jesus told the people about God's blessings. Jesus taught about eight important blessings. The Bible has a special name for them. The Beatitudes, as Pastor Tim says. <laughs> These people will be very blessed, Jesus said, and here is how they will be blessed. Those who believe they are sinful will be a part of God's family. Those who are sad for their sins will be comforted by God. Those who are humble and obey God will inherit the new earth. Those who desire to do what is right, they will have God's righteousness. Those who are kind and forgiving toward others will receive forgiveness from God. Those whose hearts are forgiven will see God as he is in heaven. Those who help others find peace with God are peacemakers, and God calls them his children. Those who tell others about God even when people hurt them, are part of God's family. Mm. So, in this passage, Jesus, this is part of a larger uh, thing called the Sermon on the Mount. So Jesus is on top of a hill, on top of a mount, uh, or mountain, uh, and he's speaking to all the people that are following him and teaching them. Mm -hmm. So, um, he, he teaches them about how God blesses them, mm -hmm. how he gives them, Good things. That's what blessings are, right? Good things. Things we don't deserve. Right. So in verse 4, Jesus said, Blessed are those who mourn, or those who are sad, or 
the press, for they will be comforted. And so mourn, like Pastor just said, is kind of sad or depressed. Um, and lots of us have experiences in our lives where we've lost something we really loved, whether it was a person or a pet. Maybe it was a friendship that yeah. ended. Um, but, but we grieve things, and we may feel like there's no hope. But this verse, verse 4, tells us that God will comfort these people. Wow! That's amazing! That's so awesome. And we can see that the, that joy on, on the faces of the people in our movie because they were mourning the loss of their pets, and now they have been comforted. Right. And that's the joy we can feel, right? Yeah, God is always there to comfort us in our times of sadness and mourning. Yes. So this is what we want you to do, fun thing we want you to do today. We want you to draw a picture of something that made you sad. Maybe you did lose a pet, um, and you can draw a picture of that pet. Maybe, you know, whatever it, it happens to be that, that made you sad. Um, and we want you to write all the words, because maybe it just made it, it didn't make you sad. Maybe it made you mad. Um, maybe it made you frustrated. Um, all, maybe other emotions. Write those emotions on your paper. But then what I want you to do in big words over your pictures, I want you to write, God comforts me. Okay, and that covers up all those other things. We're going to post an example on Facebook. Um, and all, we would love to see your picture you picture would. there. Um, and we have something new and fun happening. We do? Um, we do. I, I don't know about this. So when you post your example of your activity we give you on our Facebook page, Family Table, and it's linked in the description if you haven't joined it already, when you show us that, we're going to put your name in a bucket, and we're going to draw a prize at the end of each month. Whoa, am I eligible? No. Oh. So, so what's the prize? I'm not going to tell you because you'll probably eat it. Oh. Ooh, there's a hint. So it's edible. <laughs> so anyway, so show us your examples. Share your love of Christ with everybody else in the group. And we love to use them as our backdrops. As you've we seen, do. the kind of family showed us their ark, and we use yeah. that as our backdrop. And speaking of our wonderful followers, we forgot to do this at the beginning. Oh, Yes. January birthdays. We didn't get those done. Things were crazy, and we were moving in and out of doing things, and then we took a break. But we want to celebrate your birth. So our January birthdays we have this month for Family Table is Happy Birthday, Haley Kane, and Happy Birthday, Trey Morrison. So we love, we were glad to celebrate the day that God brought you into this world, and we hope that you celebrated and had a wonderful day. We do. And we're going to keep up on that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think that's it for today. Uh, keep having a blessed day in Christ, and we'll see you again next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.